On September 9, 2018 the NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory SDO captured two lunar transits when the Moon passed in front of the Sunday. A transit happens when a celestial body passes between a larger body and an observer. This first lunar transit lasted an hour from 4.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m., and clouded 92% of the Sun at the height of its journey. The second transit happened several hours later at 21.52 and lasted a total of 49 minutes, ending at 22.41 EDT. This transit only obscured 34% of the Sun at its peak. See the movie here to see how, from the perspective of SDO, the Moon seems to go in one direction and then change direction to cross the Moon again. The Moon obviously does not change direction, but it seems that the SDO's perspective is based on the fact that the spacecraft's orbit reaches the Moon during the first transit. Do you believe in this explanation? The National Solar Observatory in New Mexico has been evacuated and locked down, the FBI is involved and they are not telling us the reason. Could it be that astronomers who work at the observatory have photographed something near the sun or in deep space that must remain secret or there's something else going, but for now it remains mystery. The National Solar Observatory in Sunspot, New Mexico and a nearby United States Postal Service office, were evacuated for security reasons Thursday observatory officials said. We have decided to temporarily vacate this facility as a precautionary measure. And we're working with the proper authorities on this issue, Association for Universities for Research in Astronomy spokeswoman Sherry Lofson said. Friday, both properties remained closed to the public, with yellow caution tape around the property. Sunspot is located in the Sacramento Mountains in Otero County about 15 miles south of Cloudcroft. There is currently a working telescope at the observatory, where New Mexico State University also conducts research. As locals I feel that we should know what's going on around us, Cloudcroft resident Roger Wiley said. A spokesman for the Otero County Sheriff's Office said they are not involved in the investigation. A post office in the area has also been shut down. Even the post office has not been told why. Right now, what we're told is that they've temporarily evacuated the area. We haven't been told why or when that expires, said Rod Spurgeon, a spokesman with the USPS Reports KVIA.News. According to a commenter at ATS, but for the FBI to get involved that quick and be so secretive about it, there was a lot of stuff going on up there, House said. There was a Black Hawk helicopter a bunch of people around antennas and work crews on towers but nobody would tell us anything, what their purpose was nobody will say.